<laughs> Who are all these people? <laughs> Derek Ziet says his cat Charlene is the joy of his life. When I first saw her, her name was like cow mm -hmm. because she looks like a cow. But his happiness turned into a nightmare. Ziet came home after a long weekend to an injured Charlene. Her eye was closed and like a little bloody and I was really scared. The then three-year-old cat was hurt while in the care of Ziet's housemates. He rushed her to a veterinary emergency hospital. I didn't have pet insurance, so when I went, they took her in, did all the basic stuff, got her like stable, and that was a couple hundred dollars, um, which was really hard for me because I, I worked part-time at the time. I didn't have much money. Charlene needed immediate surgery, but with no money left to pay for the expensive medical procedure, Ziad made the hard decision to surrender his cat to an animal shelter. And they could take her in and they would treat her, but she wouldn't be my cat anymore. And I was like crying for like a day and a half. Now we're seeing more medically and behaviorally um, more, more animals that need more specialized care. Valeria Cáceres Gil from the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, or ASPCA, says the increased number of animals in shelters today is being driven by a combination of many factors, but nationally it is not being driven by an increase in owner surrenders to shelters. Some of the factors that have influence in uh, pet ownership is uh, the struggle that many community members are finding in when they are looking for pet-friendly housing and also affording uh, veterinary care. While the national animal shelter intake numbers are still below pre-pandemic levels, many animal welfare organizations like the Animal Care Centers of New York City are struggling with capacity challenges with more animals coming into the shelters than leaving. They are telling us that one of the causes to the increased number of animals in shelters is that they are staying longer at the sites. As they stay inside the shelter longer, it's not great for them, mentally or physically. Um, and many of them will break down, you know, they're stressed. So they're not showing well to potential adopters that come in. And we went from an average length of stay of eight days pre-pandemic to now we're at 13 days. The Shelter Animals Count database released a report in January 2023 that shows a nationwide shelter animal intake was 4% higher in 2022 than in 2021 though still lower than it was in 2019. This report also revealed that the number of animals leaving shelters remained flat in 2022 versus 2021, meaning space in shelters for animals is shrinking. There are many other ways that you can help, volunteering, becoming a foster parent. Year over year, pet food is up 15%, and pets and pet products are up 12%. And the ASPCA estimates that the average annual cost of a dog is $1,391, while the average annual cost of a cat is $1,149. Pets are being surrendered by families that have owned these pets for years. There are pets that are from families that are struggling. They're struggling financially to provide for their family. She turned four in this past December. As for Tarek Ziyed, he was able to keep Charlene. I actually didn't even know that the ASPCA could treat her for like free or reduced until I got there and was trying to give her up. We offer a fully subsidized or partially subsidized veterinary care for pet parents that are struggling. Ziyed says he's grateful and he isn't letting go of his dear friend, Charlene. Axel Turzius, Scripps News, New York City.